Martha Kagoya, you can lead us. Let's send ourselves to the prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of our parents and teachers and our friends. Father, as we are going to have this lesson, may you guide us, help us understand whatever we are going to discuss so that we can analyze it and take whatever the shares are going to give us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you so much, Chris, for the prayer. So all of us, we are going to be in one room. So those who are just joining in, all of us, we are in one, one room. Okay, may I ask uh, Hannah, invite Hannah now uh, to take her to her presentation on waste management. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Peter, you let me know if it is seen. Is my screen seen? Yeah. Can everyone see my screen? Yes. Um, so this, this, the theme for this holiday has been waste management and, and they the project was to create a poster on waste management. I was not able to make one full sheet of paper explaining waste management, but instead I made a presentation on waste management. So first question, what is waste management? So basically, when we talk of waste management, these are the different ways or activities in which we manage waste in the environment. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, wastes are like rubbish. Wastes are like rubbish are the like different things which I which we, which we seem to call useless. Like when you use something and you no longer want to use it anymore, it can become a waste because you're going to now want to throw it out. So wastes can be papers, plastic, glass, metal, old clothing, and so many more. In waste management, we have the three R's. Reuse, reduce, and recycle. As we go on, I will explain these in depth. And yes, let me go on. When we are managing waste, we, we can separate our rubbish. This is a way of managing waste in the environment. We can separate our rubbish because when we separate it, we are able to manage the like different categories of rubbish in, a, in their particular respective ways, like peppers the glasses, the metals, these plastic cans, the cardboard, um, these things, all of them, we are able to manage them differently. Papers can be recycled and used to make paper bags. Um, for those of you who have seen these paper bags, like when you go to buy chapatis, they use for in a paper bag. Or even in some supermarkets, the ones which have decided to go green, they sell their products in brown paper bags. If you have seen those. Then like some wine bottles, these, these these wine bottles. Um, if you wash a wine bottle and take out all the wine, you can use it to make um, the like table designs. For those who can need it, you need a long thread and, and you glue it onto this bottle. And these bottles, you can keep in them flowers and just to decorate your house. So you're able to reduce on the rest of the environment. Plastic tins can also be washed and used to keep peas, beans, salt, sugar. Some of us, I'm sure, we already purchased this in our homes. Um, like when, like, we bought like biscuits in a large, in like, in in like the big tin. When these biscuits get done, you can wash this tin and use it to keep beans or peas or salt or sugar. Metals can be collected, melted, and used again to make other metal products. If maybe in your home area, you're likely to meet people who are always collecting this. Um, when they collect these metals, they take them back to factories and industries. They are melted and used to make other products instead of them just lying around. Because honestly, I can't think you can burn metal at your home. So I don't know how you have been managing these metallic cans and so on at your homes. But here at my home, these metal cans 
when these scrap collectors pass around, we give them to them. Polythene bags can be burnt since they cannot decompose. Why, when we leave polythene bags lying around, they are the ones that make the soil infertile. They really, they pollute the environment. Because when I did research, polythene bags, these wolveras, as they are called, take at least 400 years to actually decompose. And we are not going to wait all that long. Instead, we can burn them so that we reduce from these risks in the environment. Um, when we, in the three R's, I said you have reuse, reduce, and recycle. So reuse. When you to reduce waste in the environment, it's best to reuse things like old clothing. When some when an cloth is old, if it has no holes or anything, but maybe it just doesn't fit anymore, pass it down to your sibling. If you're the last born, give it out to someone who does not have. If perhaps this cloth is torn and everything, you can use it as a rug or you can fix it if it is able to be fixed. You can fix it and you can give it to someone. Containers, it can be used to keep salt, sugar, peas, beans, etc. These are the containers I'm talking about. Most containers at home, like this jam, this jam tins, tins for jam, um, discrete tins and so on, wash them and use them to keep this salt, sugar, beans and peas. Or even when you actually go, to like to buy something, you can tell them to measure for you, then they place them for you in this team, just so that you can reduce on some of the wastes in the environment. Glasses can be washed and used again. When I say glasses, I don't necessarily mean what you used to, think, but I mean like contain breakable, breakable containers, this exact thing. So plastics can also be reused in many ways, like these water bottles, soda bottles, as you can see here. You can use them and you plant crops and then you hang it on your wall. It really does look rather stylish and good. Then when we talk about reduce, ways to reduce plastic in the environment, you can carry reusable shopping bags instead of carrying the polythene ones. You can carry these ones made of cloth. Um, when you're going for like our parents who tend to go to work and do an often by landline, you carry lunches in reusable containers, not just not these containers here, but use it once and iterate like that silver, the gold silver plates or something of that sort, where you use it and obviously you have to throw it away. You can buy a lunchbox container whereby you eat, then you can be washed and used again. In this case, you reduce on most of the wastes in the environment. Then when you're shopping, you shop in bulk, shop these goods which are actually in reusable things. Don't shop it in plastic bags, you're going to use it, then you're going to leave it lying around anyway. Um, when you like, you can carry a reusable water bottle instead of buying just, instead of going, going and then you have to buy these water bottles in plastic. And most people, when they're in the cars, they just throw these out of the window. You really do make the environment the dirty, but it is best to go with your own water bottle, which is washable and can be used again, and you carry drinking water. Um, when you go to a cafe to buy coffee, they usually give us, they give you coffee in a, in a sort of plastic cup, but to save your time, you can actually go with your own double mug or vacuum flask, and then they can put the coffee in that. Um, instead of using, for some people in some homes, when they are cleaning around, they use paper towel, they use paper towels. Like this can be something, it's something like tissue, but it is rather big. And it's what some people use to clean up, to clean up their, their houses. Like after eating, they use that to clean a table. This is really wasteful because you have to spend a lot of money to buy these. And excuse me, you have to spend a lot of money to buy these. And they re every time you have to keep throwing them out because you can't use them again. But it is rather you use these cloth rags. Like if you have old clothing, cut it out into a rectangular form and then use it to clean the table. Um, for those who have baby sisters and brothers, instead of buying these diapers that can, which these diapers which need to be thrown out, you can buy the ones of cloth. Because when you look at sometimes when you have, if you have a baby sister or brother or two at home, I'm sure you can testify. The amount of diapers that you have to throw out in a day or three or two are so many. 
and they even how like it looks really bad but if you use hands for clothes yeah it sometimes is not easy to wash them but at least you're saving a lot of resources other than piling them up and then they stick and all sorts of stuff when we talk about recycling recycling is the process by which um, is my screen all clear is there something on the screen? Proceed, Anna. The screen is on. Let me go back. Yeah. Okay. Recycling is the process by which you collect rubbish. It's processed and and it's turned into new products. It's like as Metals can be melted and then we use them to make other products. Papers can be used to make paper bags, plastic bottles are used to make other different things. Even these wine bottles, we use them to make other things. Then, um, when it comes to waste, also like food that we can eat can also be waste. But to handle these ones, if you have a garden, the best way is to use them as manure. Because I don't think there is much of a way of getting rid of the rotten fruit and food. But if you have a garden, it's best to use them as manure. They actually work best. Um, at my home, we actually separate our rubbish, like these paper bags and everything, we burn them. But when there is like metal stuff and so on, we take them out and leave them to, like, to be collected. So basically in this picture, this is me trying to separate them. Um, if we do all the above, we can live in a clean environment from having rubbish everywhere to having a more clean place. Like in some places in Uganda, the rubbish is this much, and it may not be in Uganda, you may have never seen it somewhere, but there are some places, some homes whereby you have a lot of rubbish. Try to use it, look for a way to you to use to get rid of these waste. You can you can use all these plastic bottles can be used to actually plant crops. In, if you have no space at your home, you can cut out a hole and plant. But some countries are having a real problem with rubbish everywhere, and they are not able to get rid of it. But I just, I hope this presentation has helped. And if we clean up our, our homes, if we start we start with your home. If it is successful in your home, then in your community and so on. But you cannot start from somewhere big and then when your home is not clean. Um, let's join hands to keep our environment clean. Thank you very much for my presentation. Thank you so much, uh, Hannah, uh, for the presentation. It has been really very nice. Uh, so that is the environmental awareness. I remember our theme for this uh, well, for this holiday is on waste management, and we want to see that everyone uh, can properly dispose of the waste at home. But that one, we are going to come at it at the end. Like I've told you, uh, now this holiday, we have been able to cover a lot, and there is a lot that you are able to cover. So we are going to first revise and, and find out whether you have really been learning seriously in class or some of you were just playing around. So we are going to have a quiz that is going to run for 40 minutes. So we are going to have a quiz that is going to run for 40 minutes. Yes, Joshua? Uh, like, did you pick Hannah because she had a presentation? Because I also have a presentation on, because I have a presentation on waste management. Okay, I uh, is it ready? Yes, I can okay. prepare it. Okay, okay, yes, you are going to present after this, after the quiz. Yes. Okay. okay, so I'm going to share my screen and I show you what we are going to do. So everyone, I'm going to ask you to go to your, go to your, you are going to go to your web browser. I'm going, you are going to tap that link. I'm dropping that link in your so type in your browser joinmyquiz.com. Say joinmyquiz.com. 
when you reach there, they are going to ask you for enter join code. So this is the code you are going to put uh, in that in that place where they are asking you for enter code. So the code, so the code is four eight one two four eight. Uh, the host and co-host, you can hope to type it in the chat. So it is joinmyquiz.com. After typing it in, go on and say and put the code 481248. Enter your name. Enter your name. And we are going to be looking out for the winner for this quiz. Uh, I've told it is going to run for 40 minutes. It's going to be for 40 minutes. And then we shall have to get a winner. For it, we shall have the best student who has scored highly. So I want you to look. I am seeing people have started joining. And Gloria, that is good. Let everyone join. So uh, Alice Fever has joined. So let everyone join. Uh, so far, okay, Joshua has joined. In case you are finding any challenge, uh, let us know. Let us know, raise up your hand. So it is joinmyquiz.com and then the code is 481248. David Mwangus has joined. So far we have four. We are over 112 people. So everyone has to join. In case you are getting challenges, let us know. Oh, okay. Uh, please click joinmyquiz.com. Go to your web browser. Uh, go to your uh -huh, joinmyquiz.com. Then when you tap that link that teacher is has sent in the link in the chat, tap that link. When you tap it, it's going to take you and they will ask you joinmyquiz.com. When you reach there, enter your code. The code is 481248. 481248. So far, 15 people have joined. Uh, Ruth Nachimli has joined. Bakati has joined. Beck has joined. Uh, let everyone join. I want to see everyone's name here. So far, those are the people who have joined. Uh, that code again? Yes. That code again? It's for yes, the same code. Everyone is using the same code. We are okay. using that code. Hey, okay. Type in that code 481248. I'm seeing 19 people have joined. I want to see up to 100. So, where should we go? Join myquiz.com. Go to your Google, go to Mozilla, go to Chrome. Type in join myquiz.com. After that, they are going to ask you enter join code. So the code you are going to enter is that one, 481248. Uh, teacher Lisa, keep on dropping that link for people to click on it. Yes, thank you, Alvan. Yes, that is the code. In case you have not yet joined, let me know. I'm so far seeing 28 people. Those still failing to join, uh, please have your hand raised. In case you are failing to join, have your hand raised. Uh, because we want to start, 30 people have joined. Uh, people have started joining. Let everyone join. I can see somebody, but. So once we reach 50, we shall start. Once we reach 50, we shall start. Uh -huh. Those, I'm seeing some hands up. And Diana, unmute. Diana, yes, Diana. No, the code, the code that we are going to use, I'm not understanding the code. I've went there, but I don't have the code. The code is 481248. Are you seeing my screen? The code is here. 481248. Four, eight. Four, eight. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, Glorious, unmute. Gloria, sign mute. Yes, Gloria. I'm not getting how to join. I'm trying, but it's failing. What are you using, Gloria? Phone, laptop. 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 You go to what are you having? Are you having Chrome? You are having Google? What? I'm having okay. Microsoft Edge. Yes. Now you go up there and type in joinmyquiz.com. 
joinmyquiz.com. Mr. Kaziba. Yes. She will have to first start with google.com hmm. and then she will get Google and enter in that same link of quizzes. Okay. Uh, Gloria, have you had? Yes, thank you. Google.com and then enter in the link. Okay. So far, 56 people have joined. Uh, Filter, unmute. Filter, unmute. Filter, where are you getting the challenge? Huh? Teacher, I'm failing to go to join the quiz. What are you using? Phone, laptop? Phone. Phone. Uh, which search engine do you have? Do you have Chrome? You have Google? What do you have? Chrome. Uh, I think the link they have posted in the chat. Sorry? Mr. I think in the chat. I Mr. think the chat. Yeah. Mr. This, yes. this link is it's like the link was not working. Oh, and let me just generate it, another one. I've not tried it. Eh? Oh. Master, it works. It works. It works, I had, it works I had... but it depends on the, on the type of phone you have. Ah. Now, for Samsung, these quizzes don't actually work. It's only Google what? Google Forms that work. Kahoot and quizzes don't work. So it, it seems that then those with Samsung are going to miss out. Oh, then what do we do? It works for Samsung. It works because I'm also that. using, but it's working. Oh. Samsung Galaxy doesn't work. Okay, keep on it posting. It works, I have Samsung. Mm. Okay, it works. Okay, perfect. Okay. Patrick, unmute. Hey. So like I've reached there, I've got the participants, but I don't know what to do. I'm not playing anything. Just to I'm watch coming. It. I'm going to start. I was still waiting for a few to join me. Okay. Okay. Tomasime. Yeah, teacher. I've tried to join in. I have an a Hawaii tab, but I'm trying to put the the code. It is denying me. No. The code, what is it saying? Okay, I'm seeing uh, 76 people have joined. Uh, those who are still failing, uh, keep on pressing that link that is in the chat, and then we start. So we, ah, we have started. So you will be seeing your rank here.
Yes, Pendo. Teacher, how do we join? There is a link that has been put in the chat. Have you seen that link? Which link? There is that link you're supposed to tap on. Let me resend it. Are you able to see the chat? Yes. Have you seen that link? Yes. Uh -huh. Then write this code somewhere. 4812. I tap on it, teacher. Yes, when you tap on it, it will ask you to join with the code. The code is 480. I mean 4812. Yeah. 48. When you tap on it, it's going to ask you for this code, put it there, then you join. Did you see that link? Yes. Hmm. Use that link, then tap somewhere. It will ask you to join with the code, and the code has been put in the chat as well. Do you see me? Is that hand up or? The phone. The what? I finished. Has it asked for the code? Yes. Yes, put for 812. I finished. Have you entered? There are 11 people who have not yet joined, please. 11 people are still stuck. Join, join, join. Uh, use that link. Uh, teacher Lisa, keep on posting that link again. I'm saying some people are stuck. Some people are still not working out. Three people you have not yet joined. We have two people who have not yet joined. Please join, join, two people have not yet joined. 
So people have not yet joined, please join. You go
Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. So I'm putting in the code that you've given us, but it is saying invalid. No, maybe you have messed up with something. Which code are you putting? 481248. Wait, it is? 481248. 
two, four, eight. And that is the code. But it's saying invalid. Oh, you have already finished. Remember, you can't repeat twice. Okay. Thank you, sir. Teacher. Yes, please. Can you get to me? What are you saying? I'm trying to collect. I'm trying to collect, but it has failed to. It has failed. What is failing? Yeah. Yes. I'm trying to join the 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 quiz. My quiz. See, but as you should. Like which have you put in this code for eight one two eight? One. No. So we have uh, we are have eight minutes to finish. Some of you have already finished. So we have eight minutes to finish. Teacher, how do I join the quiz? Yes. I've just joined. How do I join the quiz? The code is there in the chat. Look in the chat, tap that link. Those are the links. And then uh, the code is for eight. Thank you. 
So we have seven minutes. It will be closing in seven minutes. Teacher, what do we do when we are finished? Excuse me, teacher. We are not getting you. Let me know if you are finished. Mariam, have you finished? So we have three minutes. We have three minutes. Excuse me, teacher. We are not getting you. How can yes. you make it? Precious. Those who have finished, uh, we are waiting for more than two minutes for all everyone to finish. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher, we are finished. We have one minute. Okay, I'm closing. I'm closing and ending the quiz now. We are going to see the winner. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for uh, attempting the quiz. It has been so interesting. Uh, let me know if everyone has enjoyed. And we have been, uh, when you look at, yes, some of you repeated, and we are using different names. Yeah, that's why uh, I couldn't, we could not see you, but I know some of you repeated because I reached and I was seeing 140 prayers, uh, but it is okay. So some of you who repeated, Okay, but you changed the names, but I thought you had used only your name, they, okay. Uh, let me now invite Joshua. So I think the best was favor, favor to the highest points. Uh, okay, uh, thank you so much, uh, favor and congratulations. Uh, okay, now we are, we are going to give five minutes uh, to remove Joshua to talk about waste management. Afterwards, I will call on uh, our first presenter, who will be still Alice Fever, and then we shall have Sharon come on to present another question. Then all those that have prepared uh, for different questions, uh, please, you are going to go on and 
uh, and present. Yes, Patrick. So I wanted to also be among the presenters. Okay. Patrick, you are going to present. Patrick, you are going to present. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Joshua? From Joshua? From Joshua, are you on? Let me come. I'm putting the YWPS office. Okay, so uh, when you look at the quiz, the quiz had uh, all the four topics that you covered for senior one, and also uh, it is it was preparing and making you revise some of that work you did already for senior twos, uh, because you know some of the work was removed and they told you to revise on your own. Okay, so that's what it wanted. Okay. Okay, Joshua, go on. Uh, now, um, Are we failing on Lumu? Oh, Lumu has dropped off. Okay, Alice Feather, you can take us through your presentation. Excuse me, sorry, teacher. Um, just give me cover straight. My screen had passed gone. Okay. Okay. Now I first assumed it was a. Uh, I first assumed we are in a village something like a village uh then i like i formed up I like i formed up the name of a story uh, uh. Like, okay, name of the... Yes, shall we failing to get you? It seems we are failing to get Joshua. Okay. Okay. Uh, Joshua. Uh, maybe we are going to have you after the first presentation. Yeah, it seems your network is not good. Okay. We are not getting you. Uh, Alice Fever, can you go on? Excuse me, teacher. I don't know why my screen is always going off. I don't know because I don't know if it's compatible with the screen recording, but the screen is always going off. Let me try using a photo to make the recording. I mean to give you what. Mr. Kaziba. Yes. 
he said we don't know how fast it will be otherwise if he would be sharing as well as forwarding the presentation and we had a team to share yes okay joshua i don't know how fast you can be such that you forward to whatsapp and we share for you the presentation seems yes Okay, Joshua, go on. Then I assume the most citizen of a certain village. Then I had come to them of improper waste management in the village. Uh, the many waste, a lot of waste have been dumped in a bad and careful way, like in a way that whereby a person does not care of what he or she, where he or she dumps. Then uh, people dump rubbish like alongside roads. I think we have seen that causing blockage of cars, traffic jam, and maybe some accidents in case some drivers are reckless, like motorcycles being knocked down and other means of transport. And even dumping in some other places, it's the people's homes whereby the, their compounds are not fenced. We go and dump rubbish there. They even a person has said not dump here, they continue dumping. So this has led to conflict whereby some, some people may have neighbors, like let's say the village where they are, people don't live in gates. Now they may suspect the neighbor of throwing rubbish in their compound. So it leads to conflict. Uh, it also leads to severe punishment given to people who are caught. Now the people who are caught dumping, they are where they have refused them. They may be forced to pay a big fine of maybe 500,000 shillings or maybe 800,000 shillings. And maybe they are even given some other punishments like canes or, st or strokes and even a big in the truck where the rubbish is going to be collected. Others are going to be cleaning and maybe applying fertilizers because sometimes that rubbish causes soil infertility and it pollutes the uh, soil. So like they have to apply will allow the grass which has been there to grow. And also some may have dumped it maybe in some area whereby they are cement down so they have to scrub, so that's a big expenditure. Uh, all these problems which I've just spoken can be controlled by constructing public toilets for the proper dumping of wastes. Uh, not only do people dump rubbish like used house disposal, like broken cups and broken glasses, but they also dump things like nappies for children. Uh, they also dump in some other wastes like urine. Now we need to con we need to construct public toilets so that we can be able to classify which waste goes where. Now, like the nappies for the children, they have to go in the public toilet. Uh, then uh, enforcing strict laws on those who dump waste anyhow. Like this, we can be able to work with the LC chairperson or maybe the member of parliament who's responsible for that thing uh, to continue enforcing strict laws on those who dump this anyhow and availability of a dustbin in every form. That in includes working with the chairperson so that we can be able to have a dustbin in each home or maybe the chairperson you know, the member of parliament or maybe even the village members can contribute some money in a circle, then which will be enough to give dustbins in each and every house. And also working with waste management companies like KCCP. Now, uh, KCCA you may find has been registered in places where they have been dumping, where people have been dumping rubbish so that they can go and remove that so that they can go and remove the rubbish from there. So like the chairman may have to go and talk to, may have to go to the KCC offices so that he or she may register 
him or herself with KCCA so that also his village or her village is uh, is also gets that chance to be uh, removed so that the rubbish can be removed from their from their village and the big the last and the big main thing is by recycling wastes taking them to companies that recycle wastes or putting them in recycling bins all in all i advise people not to dump wastes anyhow because this degrades the environment Thank you so much, uh, Joshua, uh, for the presentation on waste management and what we can do. Uh, those who have moved around the town, one of the biggest problems uh, that we are still facing is the poor disposal of waste. Uh, when you move around, you find uh, the Know that in order for you to be able to manage waste, you need to handle it with care. When you do something, please make sure that you dump it somewhere in a safer place. So one of the exercises we are going to have is that everyone is going to be taking a photo of how you are managing your waste at home. How are you managing the polyphene bags? How are you managing the plastics? What value have you added on those plastics? Is there something you can make from those plastics? Now, that's what we want to see you do. If at all you are having polyphene bags at home, what can you use them for apart from burning them? Because once you burn, you're causing pollution. So we want to see you now uh, get the polyphene bags, come up with something from them, come up with a product. You get the plastics one, uh, maybe the bottles, the jelly cans, what, what, those things, at least make sure you come up with a tangible product that we can use. Okay, Colette. Um, can you please repeat the question? The question? Yes, if my network is a bit bad. Yes, uh, the question or the assignment is that you are going to take a photo of your home on how you are managing waste, meaning that you are going to show us where I, do you dump it with you have a pit where you dump it. If at all you don't have a pit, can you do one? If at all you don't have a, a pit, maybe you don't have one. Have you, have you got in a polyphenic bag? Have you got in a sink where you're testing that rubbish? How are you managing the... Yes, so we want to see you on how you are managing all those things. Okay, okay Paula. thank you. Paula? Um, you say that we present where we dump our waste and like first repeat from where I began network. Oh, I didn't get your question well. Okay, uh, we shall repeat at the end. Allow me now that you go big, uh, deep into the seminar discussion. Uh, Favor, are you still on? Does it mean Favor is off? Favor, can you first come up with the presentation for those numbers you did because you are today's winner? So, first present. Uh, seems Favor, the network is bad. Okay. So if at all favor is failing, then we are going to call on the next presenter. Uh, Alvan, get ready. Sharon, are you ready? Um, yes, teacher. Okay, Sharon, come first. Okay, I will present number 13, which says, I'm going to present number 13. It says, 
a father checks on his newborn baby every after 40 minutes. Mother checks on the every minutes. You also check on the same baby after every one hour. If the three of you last checked on their baby together at 8.30 a.m., when again will you check on the baby together? Here you first convert the hours to minutes, which is one hour minutes. Then you find LT for 40 minutes, 40 minutes, 60 minutes. Two by two by this show LCM. If you follow the prime numbers from the smallest to the biggest, and two is the first prime number, you divide by all. When a number is not divisible by two, you just leave it the way it is. Two is get that. You just leave it the way it is. So you still use two. Start a divide by two. Then you move to the next prime number, which is three. According to these numbers, all of them are divisible by three. 15 divided by three, you get five. Again, 15 divided by three. So five divided by three, you get 15. You move to the next, you, you still continue with three because 15 is still there and it is divisible by three. 15 divided by three, you get five. Then five divided by three, you just leave it the way it is. You move to the next prime number, which is five. 5 divided by 5, you get 1. Then after you multiply 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5, after multiplying all that, I got 180 minutes. It means all of them will check on the You convert in two hours. Then after you add. And after converting, go to I was at 7:30 a.m. After adding 8:30 a.m. get another number. Then the other number was the district. The district planning authority has allocated the following funds to the different sectors. If you are asked to read the figures to the public, what you read for the first one was Uganda shillings, eight eight. The education center. According to my school, you draw a table of units, thousand million. According to that number, it was eight 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 millions. It was four 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 thousands. It was two four zero units. It is nine nine eight. Nine words, it is 888,444,240,000. It is 880,996. To the health sector, you draw the same table. And the answer is 230 trillion, 340 billion, 400 million, 230,886. Then the C part is 432,111,111,111,000. 
1,000,000, and that was number 12. Then the last number was number 20. Number 20 is draw a line from each fraction to the equivalent percentage, a quarter, three out of six, nine out of 20, four, four out of 25, 14 out of 25, I mean, 39 out of 50, then on the other side of percentage is 50%, 56%, 45%, 78%, 25%. Here, you get like the first one, it's a quarter. It is one out of four times 100. When you divide one times 100, it gives you 100 out of four, which is 100 divided by four gives you 25. So a quarter is equivalent to 25%. Then so three out of six times 100, it gives you 300, 300 divided by so three out of three out of six is equivalent to fifty percent. You come to nine out of twenty times one hundred. When you multiply nine hundred by twenty, it gives you forty-five. So nine out of twenty is equivalent to forty-five. Then fourteen out of twenty-five times one hundred, which is fourteen times one hundred, gives you. 1,400 divided by 25, it gives you 56. And 14 out of 25 is equivalent to 56. Then 39 out of 50 times 100 is equals to, it is 39 out of 50. When you cancel zero by zero, then 10 divided by five is one. By five is one, by, by 10 it is two, it is 39 times two, which gives you 78. So 39 out of 50 is equivalent to 78, that's all. Thank you so much, Sharon, uh, for the presentation. Uh, those who have uh, questions, can you raise up your hand? In case you have a question on any of the numbers she has answered, uh, raise up your hand. Anyone with a question? Is everything clear? Okay, it seems uh, everyone has understood, which is very fine. Okay, thank you so much, Sharon. Uh, you will be sharing your presentation and other people will be following in our WhatsApp group. Okay. Uh, Pepper Patrick. Pepper Patrick. Patrick, are you on? Seems we are not getting Patrick. Uh, Alice Fever, are you on? Yes. Okay. Okay. Pepper, you can take us through. So I'm just uh, finishing the last one. Okay. Okay. It is fine. And I present. Okay. Pepper, you can go first. Okay, good afternoon. My name is Aris Shanti Fever, and I'll be presenting number eight and number 11, I think. Yeah. Number eight says each empty square contains either a number or a mathematical symbol, which is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Copy the square and fill in the details. So when we begin, 
When you begin, uh, this is a dash. This is a dash. That's a dash, and that's a dash, and that. So while answering this question, we need to first find out the break breakthrough point, like the point where you can start with an obvious answer. And my first point was here at A. Uh, to solve A, we have dash times 0 0.5 is equal to 50. is equal to 50. So my simple solution was uh, I replaced that dash with a variable A. So A times 0 0.5 is equal to 50. A times five out of 10 is equal to 50. That's after simplifying 0 0.5 and turning it into a fraction. So five times A multiplies and gives us five A out of 10 is equal to 50. So I multiply both sides out of five by 10 to get rid of the denominator 10 uh, at the variable, giving me 5a is equal to 500, 500 as a result of 50 times 100. When I divide both sides by five, I get rid of uh, the five, leaving me with a on the variable side. So 5a out of five is equal to 500 out of five. 500 divided by five gives me 100. And that's clearly a solution for this dash. So I feel this in 100 times 0 0.5 is 50, if you are to prove your answer. Next, uh, I found another point, which was point B, this dash here. Five times dash is equal to 100. So I did the same thing by replacing the dash with the variable B. Five times B is equal to 100, the answer I had got. So 5b is equal to 100. Divide both sides by 5, you get b is equal to 20. 20 as a result of 100 divided by 5. So point b is a uh, 20. Then c. How do we solve c? I use this vertical, this column there to solve point c. And point c was c, which was that dash, divide by 24 is equal to 0 0.5. So when you simplify, C out of 24 is the same as C divided by 24. So C out of 24 is equal to five out of 10. Here I cross multiply the five times the 24 and then the C times 10. So C times 10 is equal, is equal to five times 24. So 10 C, which is a result of 10 times C, is equal to 120, which is a result of 24 times 5. Giving me 10c is equal to 120. Here, I divided by 10 to get rid of this 10 on the variable side. I divided both sides by 10, giving me c as 12, which fits. When you get 12 divided by 24, you would get 0 0.5. So now I need to find out the mathematical symbol dashes like 20 dash 24 is 44. So they are basically asking us what should we do with 20 and 24 to get 20 to get 44. And according to my philosophy, you would have to just add 20 plus 24. So that dash will definitely be an addition in my perspective. So on this other one point D, we have Five times 12 is equal to 60, which is well proven because when you get five times 12 and you multiply it, you definitely get 60. So the mathematical symbol that fits in that position is multiplication. Yeah. So that was it for number eight. Any questions there? Lucessa, you have your hand raised. Okay, Becky. In six, what if I cross multiply 24 in both sides? Pardon? Becky? 
Becky, can you repeat? What if I cross my what if I multiply 24 in both sides and I don't cross multiply? Yeah, either way to turn out the can you mute. Either way to turn out the same because I first multiply 24. Okay, let me first annotate. Okay, I multiply 24 on both sides first times 24. Either way, the 24 disappear here, giving me C out of one is equal to five out of 10 times 24. So C is equal to five times 24 out of 10. It still give me the same answer, which is C is equal to 120 out of 10, which is 12. You get? Becky. Okay. Seems like it's solved. So can I proceed to the next? Yes. Because of Okay, so can I proceed to the next number? My next number was number 11. But here I need to just help an explanation somehow. Okay, the question was, I bought eight heaps of mangoes, each at 1,200. Oh, 1, each heap had eight mangoes in it. If he wants to sell the mangoes in heaps of three, each at 800, what profit does he make? Uh, first, I had to find the total buying price. Since one heap, according to the question, is 1,200, I multiply that by the eight heaps, giving me 9,600. So now I want to proceed to find the total selling price. But how do I do that? I begin by finding the number of mangoes first, because they say that he sold the mangoes at 800 shillings each, each heap. Okay. So the total number of mangoes was 64. When I get 64 mangoes, I wanted to regroup them into new heaps of three. But I don't know whether you include that decimal, but okay, yeah, me, I included it. 64 divided by three gives me 21.33, which is the same as 21 and a third. So the total selling price in this case would become 800 times the number of heaps 24 times the number of hips, sorry, 800 times the number of hips, which is 21.333, because uh, the cost of each hip was 800. So after evaluating, I saw that the total selling price when I multiplied was 17,066.666, which is the same as 17,066, two out of three. Yeah. So I just found the profit by getting the selling price minus the buying price. That was getting this value minus the 9,600 that I originally got, giving me 7,466.666. Yeah. Any questions or corrections? Okay, Katie. Okay, I'm just curious isn't it possible for you to round off that number so that you don't get decimals uh i don't really think it's advisable to round it off i'd rather taking the value just the way it is okay thanks okay sunira um when you found when you found that it was 64 mangoes and you divided by three, you got 21.333. But yeah, those tips of if, if it was mangoes, how can you get a decimal of a mango? I don't think you can cut it in half or like that or something like that. I think instead no. you should have got 21 and a third. And after you find the third by itself, and after you find the value that it stands for, then after at the end, when you find when you say 18 times 21, you get the actual value. And after, when you like that, then after you say like, like how you began with, you say like three 
mangoes cost this price. That means one mango costs this price. Because I think if you get 21 and a third, you calculate the third alone, a third of three, right? And then after you get one mango, right? Yeah. Then after you can find that value. Yeah, you'll still get the same answer. Uh, that's a longer method. Because at this point, instead of indicating, I'm going to see 21.333. You, you want to say 21 and a third. That is, this a third, when you get a third times three, you'll get one mango. So yes. you have to add proportions to get the cost of that one mango. Wait. Okay, so you you have to indicate proportions if you want to use that method because if a heap has three. And a heap is the cost of a heap is eight hundred, and I have my one. I'll I get a third of the cost, eight hundred, which will still give me uh, eight hundred into three would be one. Let me see five. It's two hundred and sixty-six point six. Point six six. Yes. Uh, this screenwriting might kill me one day. Okay, yeah. Two hundred sixty-six point six six six. When you add it, when you add it to the cost that we have, which is What's the cost that you have? 800 times 21. 0.666. So like, yeah, this would still be six. That would be six. That's 10, seven, and one. You'll still come up with the same answer. Just that that's longer. Okay. Any other questions? From Audrey? Yeah. Uh, yes, I agree with I agree with Sunira because this this month it's like it's going to confuse most people. So it's best like you do like how Sunira did. That's why I agree with that. Okay, so you do according to your is according to what you understand. Okay. Okay, yeah, uh, that's it for me, Anes. <laughs> Teacher, teacher has something else to say. Excuse me. I've raised up my hand and you're not answering it. No. Joshua, where is in your complaint? Uh, no. I've never seen money in points seven four six six point six six. Doesn't that question have a problem? Uh I'm not the setter of the question, so I don't know that it has a problem or not, but it, it's in, it might be intended, but you just have to work it out the way it is, because it, it comes in an and you cannot say the question has a problem. You just have to answer. Yes, and okay. Okay, it's okay. May I say something? Yes. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Pepper. Uh, now, uh, 
at the end you can have to you need to have to put in some bit of reasoning uh, mainly at the end uh, when you are looking at the profit uh, that the person has made like in our uganda setting uh, we don't usually value the points so that's why even at times when someone gets uh, a but like those who have been to the super i think this supermarket, uh, those people who have got involved in some games, there is a time where you can get those points. It is very possible. And if at all, even you look at those who have accounts, at uh, accounts, at times, even you can see your account uh, reflecting something like maybe 1325, which is not easy for you to get. So at the end, you can, uh, you can conclude by just rounding off that. Uh, but now when you are going to be rounding off, you use you don't use an equal sign, but you use an approximate sign. So you say approximately. Mr. Kaziba. Yes. He will have to round off because according to this answer, hmm. and the calculator gives hmm. 7,466.66. 6, six six seven it doesn't mm. go on that it is a six 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 until like recurring it stops mm. at four sixes and then a seven at the end so it totally shows rounding off as the solution okay okay yeah so uh Feva, your final profit uh you can round off to the final answer then someone is suggesting okay uh paper patrick yeah uh but here like you need always eh? the questions don't have problems but they want you to just work out the way it is at times things happen we are talking of real life so we don't expect that always you'll be getting an exact answer Sometimes you may not be able to get an exact answer. So that's why if I, if I told they were 61, it would be easy for you to get the, uh, the answer. It would be very fine if I told they were less. But in case you find it that way, then it is very fine. Work it the way it is. If I told those mangoes were 63, then it would be very easy for you to get an exact answer. But if I told they are more than that, uh, then it depends on your reasoning. But like here we said, your reasoning matters a lot. Even someone could say, because if someone who told us that uh, there is one mango that is remaining, uh, someone could use her reasoning and say, maybe that one mango that is remaining uh, will just be, uh, I don't know what they call it, but just an add-on on anyone who will impress the seller. But the answer, that is an approximate answer. Thank you, Phil. Uh, so, teacher, you said that this is how we are supposed to write our answer using an approximate symbol when you round up. When you use equal, equal sign, it shows that that is the exact value. So here, when you leave the points, it is okay. But once you round off, then you have obtained an error, a small error. Okay. But this was question 11, not 10. Ruth, continue. Okay. Thank you so much, Feva, for the presentation. Let's have the next. Let me first hear from Renita. I have a question to the previous speaker. Okay. Please raise it. Yes. Okay, ma'am asking, for example, I didn't use the decimal points and I used fractions. Is it okay if I have um, seven thousand four hundred sixty six and two thirds in shillings? Is that still correct? But that's your question. Maybe. 
Pardon? When you when you have your answer in fraction form and you don't have it in decimal form, is it still correct? That's my question. Or you have yes, to change I think it it's still correct. Okay, I think thanks. it's still correct. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'd like to invite the next presenter, if you're ready, let me have Patrick, Patrick, if you're ready, please go on and present. Okay. Okay, as Patrick prepares, let us have Hannah. You know what they're going to present. <coughs> Hannah? Um, Ruth, I do not have any presentation. The presentation I had was done in risk management and I already did it. Okay, it's okay. Then Joshua? I don't have any. I already did mine on West Prison on West Management. Okay. If you're ready to present, kindly raise your hand, JD. Are you presenting? Okay. Me, I'm presenting number 17. Okay. And let you receive the rights, then start because of time. Kindly, if you're presenting, send me a direct message so that I know you're next. Because according to our schedule, we had we have nine minutes remaining so that we rush through this. Jedi, please go on. Over to you. Are you there? Okay, are you seeing my screen? Yes, we are. Okay.
JD, let's first have Patrick present. Maybe try to optimize the overheating. It's delaying the loading of the PPT app. Don't cross person. it, but optimize. Don't cross it. It is the overheating that is delaying. Maybe if I stop your share. Look, it seems that Jed is failing. That Jed yes. is failing. Yes. Jed, first open it, then we, you are going to get another chance. Let's try for the last. Jed, if I stop the share, then we can. You can try as wait. I'm saying uh, something like first list or paper. Maybe let's first have those ones present. Patrick. Patrick, are you ready? Seems Patrick is also fading. Uh, there is another one I saw, Pass Rish, something like that. Pass Rish, can you see? Okay. Is she ready? She can present. It mean, uh, it seems people are failing to share. Maybe let's call on the last call. Anyone who is ready to present, in case you are ready to present, raise up your hand. In case you are ready to present, have your hand raised. Okay. Yes, Jed, open, try again the last time and we see. Okay.
Jade is failing. Jade is failing. Uh, Priscilla, are you ready? Priscilla, are you ready? Yes. Priscilla? Lisa, you can go and share. Since uh, Priscilla is also failing, uh, let us have uh, Ivan first present, make your presentation. Okay, Alvan, first come on and we see whether yours is working well. Alvan. Uh, okay, uh, let me ask Ivan. Ivan, first finish up with your work. First finish up with your work. Uh, I want to first hear from, first finish up with your work. I saw Alvan's hand. Uh, Luth, what do you have to say? I'm saying I'm many seeing. multiple people sharing their screen. Oh. Priscilla shared, removed Ivan's screen, then he came back again. We need to have one person at a go, but uh, Ivan, first finish up with your work. Seems you have not yet completed. I wanted to hear from Ruth over video. Any of you can unmute. Teacher, I wanted to present my waste management project, like poster. Okay, okay. Uh, Ruth, let's first go in now for waste management. I let people make their presentations, those who have. Okay, so. She needs rice. Okay, where is Luth? Ruth, you're going to start a sweet. Uh, sweet. Ivan, please stop your share. Let's stop your share. You will go next. Oh, you're ready. Yes. Okay, let Ruth go first. As you set it, minimize it so that when you share, you will see 
the document there, Ruth. Please unmute and go on. Ruth. Uh, here okay. is my waste management poster. It says waste management are the processes and actions required to, ma to manage waste from its inception to its final disposal. The types of waste management are recycling, incineration, landfill, biological processing, and animal feed. The types of waste are biodegradable wastes and non-biodegradable wastes. Biodegradable wastes are waste typically originating from plant or animal sources, which may be degraded by other living organisms, for example, food waste, human waste, paper waste, etc. Um, these biodegradable wastes, like there are these wastes that can rot and be like and be decomposed, which can like which can support plant growth, like because they form humus. And there are also non-biodegradable wastes. For example, like they are non-biodegradable wastes are wastes that cannot be broken by other living organisms, for example, glass, metal, batteries, etc. Um, these non-biodegradable wastes, like for them, they cannot rot, like they will stay there up to when you come and get them. So for them, we, we take them to the incinerator and burn them. Um, some of the sources of waste are industrial, commercial, domestic, and agricultural purposes. Like, it means that we get this waste because of these purposes. Like, you can get them from the industries. Like, after that, those people who are who work in industries have finished using their like their products. They they put their waste there, so you can get them from industries. So. Waste can be managed through the three R's, which are reduce, reuse, and recycle. Here are some diagrams that here are some photos that show the the waste management, like how we put it in practice. And here are some some steps, five steps that you can use to follow the waste management are. Measure your waste since it's easier to manage and track your improvement on something that is measured. Reduce the amount of waste going to landfill. Consider what materials can be targeted for recycling. Like you have to sort your, your waste and like you don't have to put everything there. You have to like first see which materials can you recycle before you take them to the incinerator and all those other places for burning. Um, recycle them like you can take them for recycling instead of burning them it can also help to save the environment um collection services you have to reach out for some collection services because it can be like used by some other people that need those wastes and the fifth step is separate waste ensure that waste is correctly separated for recycling yes that's my poster Okay, thank you, Ruth. Um, Ivan, again. Thank you for that poster, Ruth. Then Ivan, if you're ready, please share. This is my 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 post about yes, waste management in our home. Sorry, Vanessa. Yes. Maximize your screen. Uh, near that close button, maximize. Yes. Okay. This is how we manage wastes in our home. First of all, we have three pits. One is for rotting things, one is for these things that can be burned, which are the disposable ones. And another one is for plastics, what and what. Then four toilets and one latrine. That helps us like, because we are many people that helps us to to have proper waste management. 
we use these places to promote waste management in our home area. These places help us like to avoid improper dumping of waste in, in just any other place, but this is where we dump our waste only in those places, not any other place. Because if we had not done this, we would have poor waste management. If you don't do like that, let me say, like, if you have one toilet here, you are like 10 people in the home, you may have poor waste management. Maybe you want to go to the toilet, then also there are, but still, yeah, and sees that you're taking so dump our waste in any place that she wants, but that's not good. That will promote poor waste management. So you have to put at least more than four even a bit like six to promote proper waste management. We burn our disposable rubbish daily. We do that to prevent like moisturization, like let me see, that to prevent to prevent the bacteria the bacteria from breeding from those things. So we do that. Then we burn the waste that right after for the using petrol. Thank you for listening. Um, thank you so much too. Where are you? I have a question for you. Vanessa. Yes. When you burn using petrol, do you use, what mechanism do you use to control global warming or something like that? Because still that is pollution, not of soil, as you said, but it pollutes the air most. Usually when we dump this rubbish somewhere, it is heaped. So not all the soil in the country will be contaminated. And I'll probably decide to dump in a land, in land that has, has maybe exhausted soils. But if you pollute the air, then again, acidic rains, it's a quicker method of increasing that pollution. Think about it. Um, Babiri, you're going to be our last. Thank you, Vanessa, for that. OK, she has gone off. I think. The minutes have passed. We can end at this with this word. Which one, let me see. So just in also addition, we have, sorry, it's our last, our last class here at HELP as we prepare also for school. We are going to, I'm going to give a closure, sort of a speech to guide us to, we talk about goal setting in just four minutes. So as we move and plan to get back to school, we need to set goals and targets periodically. Probably it could be this, this one week that we are left with free and all that set goals and targets. For example, I may set this target that I should not go beyond 2.5 as my mark in activities of integration, the AOIs, you must set that target and work towards it. Because when you do your best, God does the rest. One may opt to pray and pray, but 
when they think God will help them without any effort. So you should move and look towards your goal, walk into your goal, no matter if or no matter how failure obstructs, it is a stepping stone to success. So you should have not to focus on the goal. Sorry, have not to focus on the obstacle, but the goal instead. And another thing, set principles to strengthen the goal achievement. It doesn't make your life complicated. At my school, we have this particular teacher who inspires me. There are two teachers. One is the DOS and another head of department English. They have, they are principled. They are tough, yes, but they want, they want, they live on principles that if this is not, I will not go for it. Set principles. In this way, if something is not going to guide you into your destiny, into your dream, into what you really want to be, leave it aside. And let not the wind blow you around. The worldly matters, and that is the wind that I've referred to. Let it not blow you around to make you miss out on what you want to be. Have a dream, have a vision, have a mission, and stay focused, determined, stay firm, and put in your goals, and look to them, look to God, because he is the one who can lead you. I think that's it with me. Okay, let's have a closing prayer. This. Let's have Giovanna. This lead us in a closing prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for the gift of life you've given unto us. Thank you for enabling us to always um, be here together and learn from one another. May you enable us to achieve our goals, to always work harder and to trust in you. May you be with us wherever we are, the different places we are. Protect our families, provide for us as we're about to go back to school. Enable us to be serious with our education and appreciate what you have given us. We thank you for all you've done for us. May you bless everyone who has attended these lessons and may you bless even those who haven't so that they may be able next time. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And thank you, Giovanna. Thank you all who have attended. The presenters by name, if I remember, Sharon, Feva, Ivan, JD, Patrick, all those who are willing to present and the rest who have been participative. God bless you all and have a nice and fruitful term that you will live never to forget. God bless you. Over to you, Mr. Kazima. Yes, Jedi. Please raise it. The rest feel Are we free to... having lessons next holidays? Okay. Are we having... Please. On help. We have lessons. So, please remember to attend. Yeah, and I think... I don't know whether our hands up have questions. Jonan? Jonan, do you have a question? 
Mm, okay, Adrian. Joshua. Excuse me, I've been talking to you using direct chat and you aren't answering me. I was asking, uh, are we having uh, next, like, is this the last time or we shall be having the next holidays? Next holiday, we're also going to have them like we did in the last holidays. holidays. Okay, I hope there are no more questions. Have a blessed time. Okay. For more information, you can join the WhatsApp groups. Um, maybe Anna send in the link for your for the WhatsApp group for form one. Then let me send for form two. Connie. I'm not understanding. Is this the last lesson we are having this holiday? Yes, it is. It was a two weeks okay. lesson to give you time to prepare. Okay, thank you. There is someone looking at him or her being about it. Pardon? Sharon. There is someone talking about Gascony and serving me. Let him have about it. He has even dropped, but I think it was a fake meeting. It could be because that ID is short. Even there is no passcode. Maybe the passcode is just going first try. He's just on and off. I don't know. I never heard of that. They would have sent that information on the WhatsApp It's a boy, not a girl, but anyways, first try. It's a boy, not a girl. Ruth, if you could post the link for the WhatsApp group for senior one in the chat, if you can perhaps have it. You could please. I don't. I don't have that one. That's why I called on you to help send it. I have some help us the phone one. I really don't. I have the I mean the group. Do you know how if you could tell me how to post it there? Because I've tried before and I don't see it. Because I don't know how to share the link for the WhatsApp group. You're not an admin, but for form two, that is the link. Log in if you can. If anyone has a link for the senior one WhatsApp group, please post it in the chat. 
because most people are not in the group and they need the information. If you can and you have the link for single owner subsidy, do post it. I'm just trying to send a message to help send me the link for phone and I don't know if he's going to it. Okay, I think Mr. Masaba sent it. Let me forward it. It's here. That's for form one. Natasha Honey did it. Please also join in. Is it the same question, Natasha? And Adrian? Yes, please. They say it's wrong. Okay. You, they say it's a fake meeting, so wait for maybe notifications from the administration at your school. Okay. You. You're welcome. Alvan, what do you have to say? Excuse me. Yes, Alvan. Yes, who? Um, my question is that who presented for me? Who presented for me number four? Or like it's all over? <laughs> it's over. No one presented number four. I think, let me see. And like, okay. Okay. Yes, nobody presented number four, and yet the seminar is done. You were around, but I thought it was your network, like you said. Okay. But your network. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Adrian, I do what do you want to say? Unmute and. Um, and oh, engage it. me. I was asking how are we like how can we get like some work during the holidays? Some work from hill. Yes. And you're going to okay. 
let me first send in the links again of the WhatsApp groups. Um, teacher, I got that one. But, oh, let me send this link. Okay. That one. Help. Okay. Sorry, I don't know if it's wrong. Just try to enter it into your browser. You're going to find let me check for more information. Okay, um, thank you. When if you want more work, you use that one. That very the the helps website. Okay. Get it. Thank you Get so much. You're welcome. If questions are done, giving us a great opportunity, Adrian, lastly, then the meeting can be ended. Okay, Adrian has failed to unmute. I hope all questions are answered. This meeting will be ended for this month. <laughs> Yes, that's the link. Um, Ruth, you're going to get this one. Have you seen it in the chat? Yes. Thank you. Okay. It spends a bit. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye. Just go babes meet at school. Bye. Bye. Just come here and just go babes the people who are playing on the on in the lesson to get a bus stop somewhere we are meeting. Bye. See you at school. Eh. Bye. Vicky. Bye. My friends from Diana. Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah, the question, Vicky. It's I am asking you, Diana. Yes, I'm not here. So we are calling Rachel. And the talk. Because called Vicky, bye. I meet in the DL.